What's going on, Facebook friends? How's everybody doing? In Dandridge, Tennessee, right now, just finished up a presentation. Everything went great. Super nice people. Um, definitely, they they said that they learned a lot. So I love doing that stuff and helping them out. So a couple things here. A lot of people are asking, hey, Greg, what's going to happen with rates and so forth? Obviously, nobody's got a crystal ball. However, when you look at the history of inflation, inflation goes up, mortgage rates go up, inflation goes down, uh, rates go down. So all indicators point, it's again, no guarantee right now, but we're, gonna, we're getting to the year over year on inflation numbers, um, that inflation is starting to get a handle on it. And they, they predict, a lot of people predict, uh, but the ones I trust, like Barry Habib and people at MBS Highway, which I watch daily and I learned a ton from Barry. He's been a huge mentor uh, to me. Um, basically, the, last, the next three to six months, rates are probably going to be coming down to about 5% or lower. Uh, so that's going to help uh, first-time home buyers. Obviously, it's going to help people get off the sideline. That's going to help people get more uh, comfortable with, hey, you know, should I list my house to purchase right now? Um, and, and go from there. So, but everyone feels probably, not everyone, but most people that know what they're talking about feels that it's gonna be coming down to about 5% or below that, which is which is huge. So it's a huge opportunity. If, you, if you're buying a house right now in the middle of a contract, pay less in points now when you have an opportunity in the next six to 12 months to do something with that mortgage. Um, so that's why we like to show options to our clients, we show them the short term, the long term, um, you know, four or five different options of that and that really helps them make the best possible decision but we also tell them say here's the history of it here's what it's looked like and it's very important to understand that you know Um, you know, when things happen, trends happen, they usually don't change that much. So uh, understand that if you're buying a house right now, pay less in points. Sometimes you have to pay points because right now in the secondary market with Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, the pricing is, they're starting to see this too. But even before that, you got to understand if they see a bunch of refinances and paid off early on the servicers, that they're going to be losing a lot of money. So they're trying to make the money now on top of everything else that they've done. Uh, with second home pricing, loan level price adjustments, and everything else. So if, if you're buying a house now and, the, and your loan officer should be showing you multiple options, not just here's one option, because you can get any rate or any option out there, but it doesn't make sense. And a lot of times picking the lowest rate is the wrong way to go. And most people can't wrap their head around that. Uh, they just think low rate, low rate, low rate. When you, when you step back and look at the bigger picture, Sometimes the lowest rate's not the way to go. Sometimes if you go FHA, uh, and, the, and the rates are usually lower on government pro products, that's not the way to go if you can go conventional. Uh, if you're looking at four options going conventional, and they're showing you one with, let's say, two points, one with a point, one with a half a point, one with no points, take the higher rate with the no points because you're going to have an opportunity to do something with that in the next 12 to 24 months uh, or sooner. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, you know, and, you know, it's just trends and what's happening right now. So I think a lot of people are, are kind of negative and I, I get it. Uh, but these, these are huge opportunities we have right now um, to, to really grow your business and, and really take it to the next level. And a lot of people sometimes, and this is where most people make most of their money right now. If you look over history, recessions and everything else, there have been more millionaires coming out of that than any other time so uh you know just opportunities everywhere so don't don't slack off don't don't think hey this is the way it is i'm going to take my foot off the gas pedal this is the time to really drive it down because a lot of people are, are going in the other direction you need to go in the right direction go against the herd and by doing that you will grow your business and you will be standing tall and it's scary don't get me wrong uh, i lived through the crash you know, 15 years ago, it was it was absolutely horrifying. But the thing I learned from that was, uh, if this ever happened again, not that we're in a crash, but if, uh, you know, recessions happen, you go in the opposite direction where people are going. So, uh, 
Uh, people are fearful. They're going to they're gonna retract. They're going to cut. They're going to do this. They're going to do that. You need to go in the other direction and grow your business because this is all cycles and it will come back around again. So when rates drop, and they will in the next three to six months, you better be ready for it. Um, you better be prepared. And if you got a team, you better have the team ready for it because uh, you're going to see a lot of people jump back into the market. First time home buyers, people are going to be refinancing, cash outs are going to be there, um, and so forth. So that's all I got. And then the other thing is, what I, it kind of relates to that in business sense, is that you have to constantly push yourself, constantly get better, don't slack off. This is not the time for it, never is in business. Uh, there's not this mythical mountaintop where you can sit on top of it and be like, hey, we're, you know, we've, we've, we've made it. Nope. Uh, cycles are going to come. You're going to get hit from the left. You're going to hit from the right. You got to really constantly keep on pushing on all fronts. Whether it's your database, whether it's, uh, it's uh, clients, whether it's agents, whether it's other referral partners, whether it's uh, social media, you got to go full throttle all the way through um, and, and never, never let off the gas pedal. Uh, and if you love what you do, it doesn't feel like hard work. So I love what I do. It doesn't feel like hard work. I'm just blessed to get up every day to do this, uh, help other people, help other people grow like I did this morning, talking to about 20 agents, uh, going over social media stuff and helping them, you know, try to get a deal here and there and help them be seen more on social media. So um, anyway, hopefully that helps. I've got about an hour drive back to my next appointment. And I hope everybody's doing well. And... Uh, Take care. Talk to you soon.